It was a dark and stormy night, as cliche as it may sound. The dilapidated mansion stood ominously at the outskirts of a long-forgotten town. The wind howled through the decrepit structure, whispering tales of despair and vengeance. Inside, in a room that time had seemingly forgotten, two adversaries faced each other for one last time. Tom, the cunning cat, and Jerry, the clever mouse. Tom and Jerry had been locked in an eternal battle, a feud that transcended life and death. Their origins were long forgotten, but their rivalry had left a mark on the world of the living. Cartoonists and storytellers had tried to capture their chaotic enmity, but they never truly understood the depths of their hatred. On this eerie night, the stage was set for the ultimate confrontation. Tom's eyes glistened with malice, his claws sharp and ready for the chase. Jerry, a mere mouse in size but a giant in cunning, stood defiant holding a toothpick like a warrior's sword. Thunder crashed outside, matching the turmoil within their hearts. For decades, they had battled in the real world, a cycle of comedy and pain, but this time, the stakes were higher. An ancient curse and incantation had brought them to this forsaken mansion, a place where the living feared to tread. The duel began with a ferocity like never before. The walls of the mansion trembled as Tom and Jerry clashed. They smashed through furniture, leaving chaos and destruction in their wake. Their determination was unparalleled. This was no longer just a cat and mouse game, but a fight for supremacy. The mansion itself seemed to come alive, moaning and groaning as if it was a player in the sinister game as well. A thunderstorm raged on, casting eerie shadows across the room, intensifying the feeling that something dark and sinister was at play. Hours passed and the battle raged on, neither giving an inch. Tom's fur was matted, his one sharp claws now dull and bloodied. Jerry's tiny frame was battered and bruised, but his spirit remained unbroken. As the dawn approached, the room grew darker, and their energies waned. With one last burst of strength, Tom lunged at Jerry. The room seemed to implode, and a blinding flash of light enveloped them both. In that moment, it was as if time and space had collapsed, and they were transported to an eerie, unknown realm. Tom and Jerry awoke in a place that was unlike anything they had ever seen. It was a barren landscape, desolate and fiery. Flames danced on the ground, and the sky above was a menacing shade of crimson. The air was thick with an acrid stench that filled their lungs with every breath. They were trapped in the afterlife. A realm that seemed to exist solely for their torment. Their own personal hell. Desperation crept over them as they realized they could not escape this nightmarish world. Tom and Jerry were no longer themselves. They had become spectral, ghostly versions of their former selves, forever cursed to be trapped in this infernal landscape. Their rivalry had not subsided in the pit, it had intensified. In this new world, they could inflict pain upon each other. But there was no relief from death, no respite from their suffering. They fought relentlessly, their spectral forms taking on a grotesque, nightmarish quality. The fiery landscape seemed to react to their battles. When they clashed, the flames grew higher and the sky darkened, as if the very world itself was attuned to their suffering. Tom and Jerry soon realized that they were not alone in this cursed realm. Other spectral beings trapped in a never-ending cycle of torment watched them with hollow, despairing eyes. There was no rest, no sleep, and no escape from the relentless agony of their existence. They tried to outwit each other, but each ploy... Each trap only led to more pain. Tom's attempts to catch Jerry resulted in the cat being engulfed in flames, while Jerry's tricks often backfired, causing his form to twist and contort into grotesque shapes. As time passed in this hell, their appearances became increasingly horrifying. Tom's fur was now a charred, ashy gray, and his eyes glowed with a malevolent fire. Jerry's body had become deformed, his limbs elongated and twisted. His teeth had grown sharp and jagged. The very essence of their beings had been corrupted by the unending torment. Tom and Jerry had been in this nightmarish afterlife for what felt like an eternity. But time had lost all meaning in this godforsaken realm. They had tried to make amends, to end their ceaseless torment. But each attempt had only led to more suffering. The other spectral beings in the accursed place watched them with a mixture of pity and loathing. Their fate served as a warning to them. A reminder that there was no escape from the fiery pit. Desperation had given way to madness. They had become hollow former shells of their selves, consumed by an insatiable thirst for revenge. Their battles had become increasingly brutal, each one more savage than the last. The very landscape itself seemed to feed on their misery, growing more chaotic and malevolent with each passing day. In this eternal torment, they had lost all sense of self. Their minds had eroded, and they could no longer remember a time when they were not locked in this never-ending battle. Even after becoming the monsters, they clashed again and again, and their spectral forms merged, becoming a swirling vortex of agony and hatred. 
The landscape itself seemed to rebel against their presence, and the ground beneath them cracked and split open. A massive, gaping chasm appeared, and they were both sucked into the depths. In the abyss, Tom and Jerry felt their never-ending void, their spectral forms twisting and contorting as they descended in darkness, combining together and then deforming. The flames of their hatred burned even brighter, casting an eerie glow in the infinite void. As they plummeted, their memories and identities began to unravel. They could no longer distinguish themselves from each other. They were no longer cat and mouse, but two tortured souls bound together by an unbreakable curse. The abyss seemed to stretch on forever, and it was in this endless void that they came to a horrifying realization. They were not alone. Other souls, other victims of the same curse, were trapped here as well. The abyss was a bottomless pit of suffering, and they were condemned to fall through it for all eternity. Their screams were drowned out by the ceaseless roar of the abyss, and the pain they felt was beyond description. It was a torment that transcended the physical and the mental, a soul-deep agony that no living being could comprehend. There was no escape, no respite, no hope. They were condemned to an existence of unending torment forever trapped, in a never-ending confrontation that would haunt them for all time.